everybody. Fat Bird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. It's dark. We don't ever do this in the dark. I know. So we have arrived in Union City, Tennessee. Turns out we've been here before. We've been here before. We didn't realize it, but we have been to this Goodwill before. Anyway, we're about to go in here and see what we can find. And then after that, we're going to go check out some Christmas lights. I can't wait. It's Laura's favorite day ever. It is. Okay, let's see what we can find. All right, Laura. Here we are. Okay, I was going to start in House order, squares. but I see something that I want. So. Oh, you do? Also, uh, we just sold something on eBay. That, uh, oh, nice. Hey, look. It's Hager. Is that pretty? Let's see. Is she chipped? It does have a little chip. And it's not marked Hager. Turn it over. Oh, yeah. The last one that we had was clearly marked. I don't know about that. Maybe it's a repro. I'm going to have to pass on her just because of her prominent little damage right there. I agree. How about this? Were you looking at these? Yeah, but I couldn't see. I couldn't tell what they said. They've got a mark on the bottom, but I, with that, all that wrapping, I can't tell what it is. What is it? A little cream and sugar? Yeah. I think those are kind of cute. Let's put those in the cart. We'll think about those. Okay. This is kind of like the kitchenware aisle. We'll just go down here real quick. Okay. This is the Goodwill where we found the fall scrap pieces. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and on that trip, when we went to that auction, that was the auction where you bought the whole box full of fall scrap. Yeah, that's where the whole story came from. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that, Mary Beth. Ooh, that's cool. I think that's cool. It's an ice bucket. Is that say $8.99 or $3.99? $3.99. Ooh, that's very retro looking. Oh, yeah. oh, I like that. Turn it over. What does it say? Anything on the bottom? Nope. Nope. It's got some age to it, though. Oh, yeah. I think that's really cool. Okay, let's get that. I like it. What did you find? This is a very retro looking picture. It's Here. Some kind of tin. Here, I'm going to give you my mic. Oh. What did you find? Well, I found this retro looking pitcher. It's like tin or aluminum. And on the bottom, it says Italy. I don't know what that other word is before Italy. Nice. But it looks uh, mid-century to me. Okay. I don't know. What let's, do you... let's do it. Okay. Are you finding anything? Do you want some leaf plates? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I was kind of joking. They're kind of cute for personal use. Right. <laughs> Don't get too far ahead of me, Laura. We're tethered. <laughs> oh, <it's> so ridiculous. <laughs> like these? I think these are pretty. Okay. What do they say? Anything? It's hard to make out. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Oh, he's kind of cute. He's $4.99. Um, I like this like enamel. I don't, is that right? Is that the right word? Is that like enamel? Yes. Mm -hmm. I sometimes say the wrong word. Enamelware. Yeah. Are you into those? These? Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a layman's thing. We'll oh. give that to mom with her other thing that we got her. It's a good idea. What about that? This? Mm -hmm. Is that anything? Um, no, I don't think so. It would have, it's a, it's like a wash bowl and pitcher. It would have had a bowl. Gotcha. And those aren't very popular anymore. This is where we found our fault scrap. Laura, do you think this is luster wear? <laughs> I, I tell you what I do think. I think you're funny. Thanks. <laughs> Look at this. Look, it's got little mushrooms on the top. Oh. I kind of like that. Found some That's cute. Yeah. Does it have any sort of mark on the bottom? Oh, yeah. It says something. Maverick. Maurice? Maybe. It's hard to tell with that plastic on there. That's kind of cute. Yeah. How much is that? Uh, $3.99. 
We might try that. I don't okay. know. What do you think? Grab it. We'll think about it. Okay. Nikki found some false graph back here. Our favorite. <laughs> this is probably still here from the last time we were here. I'm kidding. This, however, is lusterware. Lusterware. Saucers. But it's just a stack of saucers. Laura, look. Those are saucers because they've got room yes. for the, the, the uh, teacup. Yes. And they are not valuable because they are just saucers. Gotcha. Here, in fact, is another set of just saucers that are lusterware. Oh, those are pretty ones. Pretty, but, you know. Right. Nobody needs those. Gotcha. <laughs> it's a rice -a trivet. It's the San Francisco <laughs> treat. Ah, oh, that's kind of cute. Awesome. You're going to be really jealous when I, I sell that on eBay for $20. Yeah, I am. <laughs> my bunny, my vegetable bunny is going to be. It was my vegetable bunny. No, it's mine. You said it was terrible. I found it. Yeah, but you said it was, you said, are you really going to get that? Whatever. <laughs> I'm confined to this space because I'm tethered to Laura. She likes to take her time. That's a pretty little. <laughs> I guess it's modern. It's a pretty little platter, I thought. It looks kind of vintage at first, but it's not. Gotcha. And these little bakers are kind of cute. Look at those with the birds. It's amazing that you see things that I don't. I didn't even see those. I probably go too fast. Aren't they cute? Yeah. I actually kind of like those. Let's pick those up. I still kind of like those plates, but I'm going to leave them. There's a crystal and silver plate. I think that's pretty. It just doesn't sell very well. Right. Oh my gosh. Guess what I found, Laura. <laughs> I found some mugs that look old and are kind of speckled. Hey. Oh, they got me. They Tinker got me. Wear. Yep. They fooled me. <laughs> I just think that's pretty. The strawberries. Is it wood? Yeah, feel it. It's kind of. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Like, like that weird composition kind of stuff. Mm hmm. Look at that rooster. Mm. Oh, he's cute. That's cute. That looks kind of like them. Mm. That's a repair right oh, there. Bummer. Yeah, he would have been cute. While we're just doing nothing, you guys be sure to like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Leave us a comment below. Tell us what you want to see us do next. Oh my God. I'm sorry. What, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Why are you in there, sir? What have you done? Maybe I can get you out of there. What did you find? I think those are cute. They're just like little kitchen. Cute. They're super vintage-y. All right. Oh, and look at this. Oh, it's a basket. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. I really want to get that cat out of there. <gasps> uh, he's a ring tree. Maybe your mom would like him. <laughs> <gasps> Nikki, you did it. I did it. I saved him. You saved his life. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you like those? Well, I think uh, mom would like them for layman's. She was saying she needs some more lamps. Does your mom sell a lot of lamps? Yes. And she loves lamps. Obviously, you cannot ship lamps. Look at that. It would cost like $100 to ship a lamp, I think. Well, yeah, like one that was huge like this. Definitely. Look at that one with the cute little shade. That's fun. Look at this one. That's fancy. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is kind of cool. Look how retro looking that is. 
like the shape of that. Isn't that cute? It is kind of cute. Oh, it says Germany. Mm-hmm. How much is it? I kind of think, I can't pronounce that, but I kind of think that's collectible. That name. How much is it? I didn't look. Five ninety nine. Mm, that's a little on the that's a little on the steep side for me, especially not knowing. Well, let's put it in the cart and I'll look it up. Okay. We'll put it back if we don't. Okay, Laura. So maybe not as great at we as we did actually at the Mayfield Goodwill, but still a pretty good haul, I think, right? Right. We went to Union City, Tennessee, and I was really it's a lot bigger of a store and it's just funny that's just shows you you never know <laughs> right i thought that one would be much better and really the little mayfield one was better okay so let's dig in here and let's check out what we got okay the first thing is this little pot Laura, look i loved that just because of the mushrooms it's got little mushrooms on it and some little peppers i guess we could have taken the plastic off mary beth well we didn't but i think it's Everybody likes to know how much things cost. So I think it's better to at least know what they cost. It says like Mar Maurice of California, I think is what that says. I think it is what it says. That's I'm not fun. familiar with that. Maybe we'll look that up. Maybe so. Okay. Then we have this really groovy like retro ice bucket. Check that out. I love that. Would you call those peacock feathers maybe? Maybe. But that is just so mid-century. That's cute. I love it. And oh, I forgot to say on this little guy, this was $3.99. And our ice bucket was $3.99 as well. I think the prices at this Tennessee Goodwill might have been a little bit higher. I think you're right. I think they were a little bit. Look at this. This is also very mid century. That's cute. I didn't really see that very well. And it's also got like some iridescence to it almost. Like, you know, look at that. Yeah, it's, I guess it's aluminum. Right. And uh, it's pretty cute. I think so. Italy. Nice. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. I think that's super cute. That's different. The Italy mark is unexpected. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we've got a little paperweight. <laughs> we might have got took on that, Mary Beth. That's probably all it's worth. That's $1.99, okay. but it's cute. Somebody would love to have him in a mystery box. Yeah, I like him. Right? <laughs> yeah, there's his little box that he came in. So he's not vintage, but super cute. It was only $2. Laura, what is this? <laughs> I needed that at my house. <laughs> oh, you got this for yourself. Yeah. I you see. Just, it holds napkins. I gotcha. And see, so they don't like blow away or it's whatever. It's like a paperweight for your napkins. Exactly. Got it. <laughs> All right. What do we have here? It's a really cute little cream and sugar. Okay. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of wishing that we had had unwrapped that piece to show on here because I'm not really sure exactly how cute it is, but I'm feeling like it's like super cute. Okay. Look well, at the little lid and little spout on the creamer. I'll tell you what, let's move on and we will unwrap this and show it at the end. Okay. Laura picked up this uh, little um, two plates of blue. I just like those. I like the way they look. They're just decorative. Not, you, not super old, I don't think. But look, the, the bottom looks pretty good. Are you going to take the, these to your mom? Is this going to be a layman's thing? <laughs> yeah, those look like layman's, don't they? They do. And, of course, you guys saw in the first part of the video uh, the lamps that I got for her. So she'll be oh, excited. Oh, yeah. She's going to be super stoked about those. So tell me about this basket. I love this little copper basket. It looks to me like it was, you know, hand forged. Look how delicate the handle is. Mm-hmm. The little feathers where it connects to the base yep. of the basket and you know usually copper is not that delicate you know you don't get those pretty shapes like that a lot of times with copper gotcha i don't know exactly all about it but it must be harder to uh, work with gotcha and that was only a dollar 99. what did it say on the bottom uh did it say anything oh it does it has a mark on the bottom it appears that that says Revere, Rome, New York. 
That's cool. We'll have to look that up. Definitely. That might be the sleeper of the day. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Then we've got these little dishes. Those are really cute. You can see the little Aren't they design sweet? in there. They've got birds on them, so they got to be cute, right? Do you think that's transfer or is that painted on? I think it's painted. You're closer. I'm, I'm not sure. I think that's painted on in there. But yeah, so those would be just individual little bakers that you would, you know, bake your dish in and serve out of. I like it. I had to pick this up. <laughs> it's the San Francisco treat. <laughs> you know, people love stuff like this on eBay, though. Do you like rice aroni? I don't think I've ever had rice aroni. <laughs> But it's just a little trivet, and I thought that that would be a good thing to sell on eBay, and it's so small, and that would be just easy to ship. So Yeah, that's cute. Okay, and then you got these little wall plaques. Yeah, two ninety nine. They're kind of, we weren't talking about prices, were we? But I guess they can see the prices. Yeah. And these, that's like a little fire stoker, and then just like a little coffee pot. Aren't those retro? Very. <laughs> those came out of somebody's grandma's kitchen for sure oh yeah definitely so we haven't tried to clean those up at all but i, I like them i Very think they're nice. really cute good job laura yeah so as promised i have opened up the little creamer and sugar um you know laura really thought she had something here and i am more than pleased to report <laughs> that they are avon <laughs> i i couldn't be happier that laura is so disappointed that they're not like some you know amazing <laughs> spectacular find i am just thrilled to death well that's not very nice how do you feel <laughs> i feel disappointed oh but look it's an apple but they're very cute i think they're cute they're well done they're little lids you know they have the notches in there so that they don't yeah slide around and i that's a little apple and I just think that's adorable. I'm not mad that they're Avon. <laughs> I just think that it's cute that you are. Oh, somebody's here. Hello. Good job. Who is it? <laughs> Go get them. Get them, Dixie. So, Laura, I have to say that I'm pretty pleased at our little Goodwill adventures this week and last week. Me too. They far exceeded my expectations. I know. So this means that we need to travel to those Goodwills more often. I think so. I think that should be like a regular little trip. Okay. So let's do it. So guys, leave us a comment below. We want to know what your favorite find of the day was or if you saw something on the shelves that we missed. Let us know. Or you could tell Mary Beth how cute the Avon cream and sugar is, even hey. if you don't think so. Hey, I think they're cute. I just think it was funny that you were expecting them to have like a really spectacular mark or for them to be, you know, just the best thing ever. And then when I said that they were Avon, you were like, oh, I think I cursed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So make sure you leave us a like. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Remember that you can always um, ask over items via email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We would love to work with you that way and uh, settle on a price for something. That's right. It's the best way to get what you want because then you're not competing really with anybody. So as always, make sure you stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye, everybody.